Welcome to the Choose Joy Podcast. I'm Tisa, your host. Here at Choose Joy, I pray for you and we watch God work. It's amazing how what is right can seem subjective. When there is no fear of the Lord, no following of his commandments, we tend to do what is right in our own eyes. And no matter how much we love Jesus or how long we have walked with him, when we neglect time in the word, we will always be led astray. I want to pray today that you be reminded that God is sovereign and that his word is the only truth. Pray this prayer with me. Father God, we know that without faith, it is impossible to please you. For whoever would draw near to you, O Lord, must believe that you exist and that you reward those who seek you. That's why we come before your throne of grace today in fear and trembling, knowing that your ways are greater than we can ever understand. God, let us never forget your power or the day that you redeemed us from the hand of the enemy. It is my prayer today that all who come into agreement with this prayer will be filled with your Holy Ghost power. Father God, your word declares that whatever you ask in prayer, believe you have received it and it will be yours. So give us a right heart and a right spirit to ask what is in your will. We want you present and active in our lives and in the lives of those who we love. Let your word always fall on good ground with us. Let your word take root in us that the enemy cannot steal it away. We want to be able to stand against the wiles of the enemy today and every day. That in that day, we will be able to endure sound doctrine and not be drawn away by itching ears to false teaching and fables. So today, Lord, create in us a hunger for you and for your word alone. For we know that Jesus is the bread of life, and whoever receives him shall not hunger, and whoever believes in him shall never thirst. That's why we cast off all the promises of the world that never fulfill and never satisfy. And as the deer pants for the water, Lord, our soul thirsts for you, because you, O Lord, are the lover of our soul. You never change, O God, and we give you the highest praise today, Lord. We cry hallelujah and glory to your name. Thank you, Lord, for loving us better than we could ever love ourselves. It's in the mighty name of Jesus that we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for praying with me here today at Choose Joy with Tisa. It is my goal for this and every prayer that it finds its way to the soul who needs it. You can help me reach that goal by subscribing to the podcast and sharing this prayer. And if this prayer was for you, let me know by leaving me a comment. Until next time, I pray that you choose joy.